InDesign is a page layout software application that displays a project in reader spreads, meaning it displays the artwork, pages, etc., the way a reader or a viewer of the book would see them. Page 2 comes after page 1. Page 111 comes after page 110. When using facing pages, all odd pages are on the right-hand side of the spread. All even pages are on the left-hand side of the spread. It is a what-you-see-is-what-you-get viewing method. If you look at the examples on this slide, the reader spreads examples are the InDesign examples. And if you look at the page numbers, they are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I'm looking for page 417, I know to find it after page 416. However, when we compare that to printer spreads, we completely throw out the viewer from consideration. I don't care what the order of the pages is when the book is done. I need to figure out how to sequence the pages so that when I have one large sheet of paper and I start folding it down, I put all the pages in the right place, the right position. I have to rotate the ones on the top being upside down so that when I fold it and I create a signature, all the pages will go back into order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 for this one 16 page signature. When calculating the flat size of a printing signature, we are calculating the flat size of a printer spreads in position. We view pages within this in position the way they need to be laid out for printing. Page 1 is never next to page 2 in a printing in position because page 1 is always on the back side of page 2. The order and placement of pages seems random at first, but once the press sheets are printed and folded as signatures, the pages come back into the order needed so that after folding, assembling, and binding, the book, it will once again read as pages 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Someone reading a book only cares about reader spreads. Commercial printers only care about printer spreads. A graphic designer, however, must be concerned with both. Reader spreads allow designers to determine how pages will interact with each other from a user experience point of view. How does a left page interact with the right page? Is there a crossover from page 16 to 17? Understanding the production implications of printer spreads and how they affect printing and positions can increase the speed, quality, and overall ease of getting a job printed.